I will complete my 2 years in the software industry on 27th of July 2022. That is next week or this week depending on when this video goes up. And these are the 5 things that I've learned over the past couple of years that I wish I knew before starting out on this journey. Number 1, communication is really important. During a job, the part you will spend most of your time on won't be coding or designing. It will be communication right from the start, be it interviews or your day-to-day -day job like meetings, one-on-one, -on -one, design reviews. You will have to put forward your ideas in a clear and concise way and recently when a question kafi jaga dekha hai is english important and the answer to that is it kind of is like in my case i've had the opportunity of working with people from the us uk canada europe and that means communicating with them daily in english and mujhe pata hai that a lot of people are not comfortable with that even though i felt that my english was good enough i have spent the last couple of years just working on improving my communication skills i've watched a lot of tv shows movies i've listened to podcasts i've seen a lot of YouTube I've read books and from a personal experience I've seen that if you are good at communicating yourself it will help you in interviews as well as in the long run that is your job and for that you can use Cambly Cambly is the only app in India that provides one on one private english classes with tutors from USA UK Canada etc it is specially useful for those who know how to read and write but struggle in speaking english confidently you can choose from a lot of different courses like business english IELTS personality development TOEFL and a lot more as someone who has taken the TOEFL exam, Exam and help other with IELTS. I know it is pretty difficult. Tutors on Cambly are helpful and supportive, who will help you improve your weak areas without any judgment. And you can use the coupon code ASHA22 and you'll get 22% off on any three-month plan. Isn't that amazing? So go ahead, check out the first link in the description. The second thing that I learned was that I am not the best programmer. I have failed interviews and there are days where nothing makes sense. I read the code thrice and it doesn't make sense. I get stuck doing basic problems. I feel like I don't belong in software. for engineer i fall deeper into the imposter syndrome i feel like a total idiot matlab mere bas ki kuch nahi but from what i've seen with people around me is that this is how you're supposed to feel ye hi software engineering hai even the best engineers go through it every day also when i was starting out i remember i used to open linkedin and us pe log apni jobs and achievements post karte the and i used to look at all these facebook google microsoft flipkart jobs and i used to think that i will never be good enough for these jobs but Here I am 2 years later after working at two of the biggest tech companies in the world I can say that that couldn't have been farther from the truth so it's okay to feel like an idiot wo kahawat hai na you don't have to be the best in the room you should be a good software engineer and to be a good software engineer there's two things that you need to do you should know the basics of what you're working on and second you should be comfortable reading code and this ties into the third point that code is the best documentation aapko lagta hoga ki ye badi companies mein bahut acha code base hai and har cheez ki achhi se documentation hai taki jo bhi naya engineer aayega wo documentation pad ke code samajh lega well no most of the time cheeze itni jaldi change ho rahi hoti hai ki nobody has the time to keep the documentation updated and mujhe kisi senior ne kaha tha that code is the best documentation so that is what i live by whenever this a function that i don't understand i take a pen and a paper and i just try to break down the entire function so you should be comfortable reading code because that will be most of your job really as how that you will be building a feature from scratch mostly you will be adding some extra things in an existing feature so if you don't understand a function uski definition pe jao and read what it does usko try run kar and that's the only way to get good at software engineering but coding is not the only skill you'll need in your job this brings me to point number 4 soft skills are really important too coding ke alawa you'll need social skills time management skills leadership teamwork and a lot of other skills aap daily itne logo ke sath interact karoge be it your coworkers your managers your tech leads and with the offices opening up you'll have to meet them in person and that's where your social skills come in which i think are really really important mere hisab se coding is the easiest part of the job there will be time you'll make a mistake you'll bring down the entire production server it is going to happen and you will make mistakes that's a part of your job and when that happens you'll have to take ownership for that and you'll have to let people know you'll have to document it so google has this blameless post mortem culture where and if anything breaks production no one is blamed for it and there's a post mortem process where the root cause of the problem is identified which i think is really really good and number 5 take a step back from work every now and someone then. told me that there will always be work on the table but it is important to have hobbies and interests outside work too for me it is this youtube channel sure there will be days where you will have strict deadlines and projects to deliver upon and you'll spend 12 hours working in the office and that's completely fine but it's equally important to mentally switch work off once you are done with it. i remember mujhe isme kafi problem hui thi because last 2 years work from home chal raha tha and it was really difficult to create a distinction between 
personal life and work life and i've had days where i was working on a problem until 2 am but now that i've started traveling to the office it has become way easier to switch off work because when i physically leave my desk it's done and then i can just go ahead on different things in my life also the google office is awesome if you want to check how amazing the google office is then you should check this video out where i show you my office it's insane bye bye